Wow. This is amazing. This is the milk. Good morning everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Bin here coming at you from the beautiful city of Tel Aviv, the capital of the Cajeti wine region in the Republic of Georgia. Today I'm going to take you to explore the must-sees and do's in this beautiful city. Right now we're here next to the 18th century castle, we're going to explore the walls, get the views and from here we're going to the bazaar, the central market basically. We're going to walk around, try some food, you know, mingle with locals and then after that we're going to a cheese factory. I'm very excited, I'm super pumped. Tim. Yo, what's up? What is this place? Tell me. So this place is called Batonis Tiche, like uh, the Lord's Fortress in Georgian. This was the residence of the kings of Kacheti back when this was uh, an independent kingdom. Over here we have Erekle II, the last king of independent Georgia, considered like a great intellectual and enlightener of the, of the people. So this is the biggest city in Kaheti wine region. Right now we're standing on top of one of the old watchtowers, right? You have beautiful views. From here you have an awesome view of the castle. So you just have walls inside, not that much to see. So we're just gonna walk around, you know, see the walls, which I thought was like medieval, but obviously 18th century is not medieval, right? That's usually 13th century, 14th century. This side of the fortress is the southern gate. The entrance is in the west gate, right? And over here we have, I guess it's a palace? Yeah, this is uh, the old palace of uh, Erekla II. They've uh, restored it recently and now it works as a museum. All right, so another cool thing, right next to the fortress, we have this uh, 900 year old plane tree. This is one of the oldest trees in the region. It's just standing in the center of town here. And this was uh, historically uh, an important place for the people of Talavi to gather together. We would meet together. At one point in time, they had a theater by the tree. It's right in front of the statue of the king, right there, no? Mm -hmm. right and this is the tree. <laughs> wow, so it's still alive. There's a huge hole in the, in the middle, yeah, yeah. in the trunk. Can I go in there? Yeah, I can go there. <laughs> And that's the tree, right? It has a hole in the trunk, still alive, really beautiful, really relaxing here, but I'm ready for the bazaar. Let's go. All right. Yeah, this is uh, Tel Aviv. It's the capital in the center of Kacheti. And uh, you know, it's, uh, you see the center is super nice. They've got some nice uh, architecture, some buildings, a theater. It, it looks like rich Soviet times, right? Because the buildings aren't just like these squares, right? Mm -hmm. A little more elaborate, a little more detail. Over here we have very colorful buildings, commercial spaces, little kiosk here and there. You know, obviously lots of wine. So it's like wine stores all over the place. And yeah, so it's a mix of like small buildings, you know, mid rises, four or five stories. And then over here we have lots of trees, very green here. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. So we're about to enter the bazaar and on the way in, there's a lot of different vendors selling literally everything. You know, we got fans, we have fruits, clothing, like uh, some farming products. Oh, you can get a haircut here. You can like fix your chainsaw. You can do whatever you want. And let me ask, so this is the main market in Cajeti, right? Everybody comes here to, to buy their goods. Like all the people from the villages, they bring their agricultural products here. And if it's uh, grown around here, it is sold here. So you have all kinds of fruits, vegetables, meat, dairy products, all the restaurants in, in uh, Tel Aviv, all the people who are not working in agriculture, like they come here and get their stuff. And this is the entrance to the bazaar. As soon as you walk in, you can see massive covered bazaar and you have to go down, right? And on the way in, you have a butcher, you have some more vendors. Just, this is what it is, right? Infinite vendors. Oh man, look at that. Coriander, huh? Greens, fresh greens, overpowering smell. And over here we have super fresh fruit, right? So this is what's in season right now. We have peaches over here. These are like little nectarines. This is so good. Apricot. Is it okay if I try the apricot? Just cool. Mmm. Oh yeah. Bite size, right? Help yourself. Just He's help offering yourself. us more. Oh, delicious. Fresh. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Perfect breakfast. Wow. So juicy. This one's called like Vashlat Dama, like apple pe apple peach. So it's like I do this. Tim, I love this place. Everywhere we go, everybody's pulling me in. They're like, you gotta see, you gotta try. Over here we have cheese. So this is saguni, right? Is that suguni? Yeah, no? uh, this is called imeruli kweli. It's a imeruli cheese, it's a sort of a lighter cheese. Okay, yeah, it looks more like almost a goat cheese, right? And mm -hmm. probably salty. Over here with some fresh eggs. We got walnuts. Walnuts is like king here in Georgia. Mm -hmm. Super. Super. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this is sour plums, right? Yeah. This is where you make the delicious sauces. It's actually, it's a different kind. So that one's called tremali. This is a different one called alucha. Alucha. You just eat it because you enjoy sour plum stuff. 
Ja, ja. Oh. Nee, ik heb het niet zo. Dat is sour. Ja, yeah, mm, obviously not so sweet. Dus so super, super. Ik ben niet All right, so this is a massive barrel of jonjoli. It's a specific kind of flower that only grows here, and they make pickles out of it, and it's delicious. So I've eaten it pickled, I've eaten it fried, mm -hmm. a few different you know variations, but you can only find it in Georgia. It is absolutely delicious. And you just grab a little piece right here, tiny piece. Mmm, it's pickled. Mmm, so good. Nice herb. I can eat the whole thing, man. Here we have more cheese. Obviously, we're gonna take it easy with sampling cheese because we're going to a cheese factory after this, but. Yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. And this is like more the mozzarella style, or no? Yeah. Th this one, the bottom. This yeah, one's this more like the ghost style. Yeah, so like we got a couple of so the imeruli oily, like the sort of like fresh cheese here, like more of the sulguni style on this side. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, what I love about the cheese here is that it's not too salty. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just like super yeah. bland, yeah. easy to eat. Fresh, yeah. Chuschela, so basically walnuts with syrup, they let it dry out, and this is the best thing to take into the mountains because it always stays fresh, it never like melts. Mm -hmm. And a lot of calories, right? That's what absolutely, you always take. Absolutely. When I go hiking in the mountains, I take a couple of these, and it's the perfect snack to, to go on the way. And I haven't really seen the green one. That's the first time I see this one. Yeah, that's me with kiwi juice. Oh, with kiwi juice. Okay, cool. Yeah. And wow. you see, like this one, they've done with hazelnuts. So, mm -hmm. like, you can do hazelnuts as well as walnuts. Uh, you can use different kinds of grape juice. You can use pomegranate juice sometimes. Uh, you can basically use any kind of juice. What is this? Uh, so this is a dried persimmon. So they basically they, they peel the persimmon and they like string them on a string, and they hang them outside. So like in the fall and persimmon season, like houses look like they have these curtains of persimmons like hanging down. And so like uh, when it dries, all the sugar comes to the skin, and it's an amazing treat for the winter. It's also one of the most expensive like candies, right? So right here we have like fruit leather. Well, actually, it's just like uh, juice that has been dried out almost paper thin mm-hmm mm. very nutritionist right mm -hmm. mm. nice and easy I also have another one here so I think that was just grape juice and this one yeah that was plum you had and this okay. is and this is a uh, apple mmm love the apple mm -hmm. wow delicious the walnuts can't get enough of it wow that one's super tasty trying some honeycomb straight off the knife mmm Oh, mmm, I love the honeycomb. So I think you have a joint mm. really out. Little extra crunch, right? Oh, Completely natural honeycomb. It's like good for uh, stomach problems and like it for being happy in life. Yeah. This vendor is so nice. He's like, gotta keep eating, try everything. So I'm trying walnuts with kiwi. Oh, wow. So different. I love it. Diversity in the flavors. Indeed, man. I would literally take like four of those home. Look at the size of this tomato. Like I can barely like fit my hand around it. This particular Georgian like uh, pink tomato is really delicious. So the next sections are just cheese and fruits and vegetables. This lady has tomatoes, garlic, cucumber, pepper, uh, potatoes, onions, just so much more. And then over here, we're entering the cheese vendors. We have like. 10 right here, all similar cheeses, right? The two or three, the two or three we've seen all over the place. This is sheep cheese. Sheep cheese. Mm-hmm, mm. So, in terms of texture, very similar to feta. A little salty, my favorite. Mm. There's some bread. Yeah, he's uh, from one of the highest mountain regions where they keep a lot of sheep and this uh, cheese is from up there, from like the highest mountains. Mm -hmm. Guest house, Omalo. It's so tasty, so tasty. Mm. I love the salt level. Woo. Powerful, powerful. So this is mountain cheese from the cow. Mm -hmm. A lot stronger this one. Mm -hmm. Salt level drops a lot for the other one. Mm. Too much cheese, too much. Maglova, Maglova. Are you from Georgia? Yes. Okay, awesome, awesome. Love your country. T too much Thank cha cha, you. too much cha cha. Yes. <laughs> I'm here with the butcher and he's cutting up some pork, right? This pork? So, what is this? This is uh, smoked ham. Mm -hmm. yeah, in Ukraine, it's sala? Sala, 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 sala. I wish oh I could my god, get it. uh -huh. it's too good. Juicy, very oily, straight fat, mm -hmm. basically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pork belly. Pork belly? Mm hmm. Train down the devulia. Cartoon. Cartoon. Oh. Blew my mind. Oh, so good. So good. Train down the devulia. Mm hmm. That was better. 
A little salty. It's good with tomatoes and cucumber, like a good to go as a light, light snack. They also make this themselves. So. Mm -hmm. This is a cold meat jelly. So it's a mix, like some meat, some fat. Mm. It's literally like jello. Mm -hmm. It falls apart. Mm. Pepper, Alex, mm -hmm. nice spices. Oh, it's absolutely amazing. Oh. <laughs> One more. I'm not sure you know it. Too good. Maglova. Maglova. Here we go. Here we go. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. This is dangerous. So, where we passed the butcher is a pickle area, right? Lots of different pickles. And then over here we have cha cha. I mean, it's literally like what? Seven different types of cha cha. I guess we could try one. All right, so this is a katsuteli prepared in the quevery. It's got that like really dark, uh, almost amber color, which uh, you get from like being stored in the clay. This is the wine of Georgia. This is like the most traditional wine. Mm. Very young, love it chilled like this. Oh, so good. I'm good with this. I'll try some cha-cha, one cha-cha. And this is cha-cha made from peaches, so distilled peaches. Oh, it's good. Fantastic. And this pairs perfectly with all the pork we just had, right? Mm -hmm. Very salty, some pepper, fatty, and this. Oh, oh this is so good. Love it. Here we go. Oh, wow. And what is this, apple? Oh, wow. It's amazing. It tastes like a, like a honey racky. Mm-hmm. Mmm. <laughs> Perfect pairing. I don't think I'm gonna get cha cha this good for a while. Honey cha cha. <laughs> wow. A liter from him of this. Uh, Are you? Yeah. It's, I, I want some for myself. My friend, Maglova. Hi, guys. And we're coming to the end of the market. Over here we have some more butchers, fruit stands. As you can see, watermelon is in season right now. Look at the size of this watermelon. Hello, my friend. Everything good? Look at this. Can I even pick this up? Oh! No, no, no. Too heavy. Butchers, butchers, butchers. Watermelons over here. They have some knives. They have pork. They have chicken right here. Look at this. So you got super fresh chicken. Everything obviously was killed today. Uh, fish as well. Lots of fish. And then more cheese. And that is the end of the market. I mean, it isn't so big, but it's very interactive. People are so nice. They'll let you eat and drink for free. Obviously, please buy. You know, support locals. And yeah. Keep going. My friend, you good? Potatoes. <sighs> yes. Now that's uh, called ponchiki, a sort of like traditional donut. Uh, they uh, got filled uh, dough with cream and they deep fry it. So this vendor has a bunch of fried stuff, right? So you have like fried pancakes, we have some sausage, and wow, it is hot. Woo! So as soon as you exit the bazaar, over here on the street, sidewalk, you have like I say a few hundred vendors, right? Mm -hmm. Fruits, Absolutely. cheese, fruits, vegetables, cheese. Yeah. So we got. It just keeps going and going, and you could obviously just keep exploring. You could get to like more like the used clothing or like the other kinds of household goods, but it's so much. It's so much. It's too much. I think yeah. we're ready to go to a cheese factory. Look at this. I'm smelling the cheese. And I'm ready for more cheese. Let's go. <laughs> more cheese. Mm hmm. Very delicious. Just keep walking, keep eating, and everything's free. Well, we pay for some stuff. Maglova, maglova. Cheese factory? Absolutely. After a five minute drive, we're here at CV Squarely. And what does that mean? So CV is the name of a mountain near here where people keep a, a lot of cows and where they probably get the milk from, which makes this cheese. And Squarely means cheese. So it's the cheese from Mount CV. Awesome. So we're going to enter right here. We're gonna try some cheese, we're gonna see how they make some. I'm excited. As soon as you walk in, you have a few tables, and at the very end, you can purchase some cheese. They have over 200 different types of cheese. Obviously here, they don't have all of them, but they have a variety, right? And they also have a like, gift bag like this, Georgian quality, so good. And over here, we have the owners. You guys are too young to be owners. George and Nick, yeah. right? So what are we doing? Uh, so basically, we're about to go and take the production process. So, we have to dress up accordingly, of course. Okay, so, like in every cheese factory I've ever been in, obviously, for sanitary reasons, we gotta put this on. If you have hair, you put that on. I have nothing, so I'm good, right? Yeah. And we are ready to go. Mmm, can't wait. So, sanitize, right? 
Okay, two hands. Cleans the bottom of your feet. Woo. Oh yeah, look at this. Right here we have all the shoes. Hey guys, how you doing? Wow. This is amazing. This is the milk. Oh. So basically the cheese is uh, not yet ready to be cut and it has to be cultured as milk to harden faster. And they have to mix the milk and culture well in order for the uh, cheese to have the, the particular uh, taste that uh, most Georgians like. Now we're going down to the cellars to see where the cheese is aged. What? That's crazy. Uh, here we have different uh, shells for different types of cheese. You can see one aged in wine, white wine and in black wine. We also have with different spices, with pepper, with uh, basil and all the other types. Basically cheese can work with any sort of spice, so we try to diversify. So like you said, 200 different variations of cheese. You got pepper, saffron, I mean there's so many things. Basil, dry spices, wine, and over here. Man, it's like rock solid. Look at this. It smells so good. And which one is this one? Mint? Yeah. Wow. And so you also have, so besides just, you know, round shaped cheese, we also have these big blocks. Dude, what is this? This is crazy. Can't even lift it. It's like a... <laughs> this is cheese for the century, man. <laughs> the cheese is not supposed to be too soft nor too dry, but... Uh, this one is a good consistency if you cut it into it and take a bite it's gonna be a good bite because if it's too soft it just has that bland taste it is <laughs> huge to jangle it you can jangle it <laughs> let's go let's go try some cheese okay oh man the smell down there in the cellar what an incredible cheese cellar so that's what they do right they experiment they just throw different things different ingredients into the cheese cheese basically binds with everything right to the lab right now and we can see where we test the milk in order to find out if it's good enough to make it to cheese so we're gonna see if the the milk they get is good enough uh, so basically we're trying to find out how uh, what's the acidity in the milk uh, we put pen of terminal in uh milk and also some naosh we remember on the scale at what point the uh, at how full it is and uh, drop by drop we see how many points it it goes down and we find out it's usually around 20. That's good for both to uni and for aged cheese, but if it's over 25, we usually don't accept it. So this is like very scientific here. Okay, and so this is where you have the, the milk, right? That you guys bring in from the mountain. And yeah, time for cheese? Time for cheese. Let's go, I'm baking. I don't know how, it got so hot. Yeah. Telavi in July, yeah, scorch you. Next room we're in is the packaging center. They have a storage over here to the right. Basically everything they package, they put it in there before it gets shipped out. Obviously it's a fridge, right? And over here we have giant string cheeses. Look at this. Oh, I love this, the best. And this is the machine they use to cut it. And over here, they're packaging all the cheese. You can see the many types. Each row is, you know, represents a different type of uh, cheese that we make. Uh, mainly put the stickers and uh, international shippings because they usually have different types uh, of stickers that they request. So this is how they package all their cheese, right? 30 seconds in the vacuum sealer and that's it. Tim, are you ready to try some cheese? I'm totally ready to try some cheese as soon as I can get this thing off. Oh, I'm hungry, yeah, yeah. You have a sampler for me? Look at this monster cheese you just gifted me. No, I'm joking. This is a hat. How do I look? Like cheddar. <laughs> Hello, how are you? You good? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> this is the boss. Yeah, oh, yes. big boss. <laughs> and this is their garden, right? So there's like three different areas to go sit, you know, for anybody who's coming that wants to try some cheese. This is where you do it. Over here, very relaxing. Love it. And they also have some cueveris, so they have some of the clay pots. Yeah. That one right there is over 120 years old. And over here is our cheese. Wow, I love this. Beautiful, and there's a cannon, you guys are crazy. <laughs> World War One. Uh -huh. World War Two. Two. <laughs> <laughs> and this is our cheese tasting menu. We have like seven different cheeses here. We have some bread, some wine. And so what are these? The aged cheese is the uh, main dish, but uh, I also recommend this roulette. It's smoked with ham and some barberries. You should really try it. It's great with uh, beer, with wine, with any sort of drink you can try. Also, there's classical cheese because, well, Suruni is the main, main cheese of Sakatul. 
Too many cheeses, too little time. Wow, I'm gonna start off with some of the aged cheese. This is in black wine. Yeah, just red wine. Very, very dark. Mmm. It's dense, no salt. Mmm, feel the flavor of the wine. I love it. And all these, so they're similar but different things inside, right? Yeah. And what's this one? Tarragon. Tarragon. It's tarragon. Tarragon. Mmm. It's like, almost like minty, this one. Saffron. Saffron? Mmm. This one's the hardest one. And this one? Uh, egg romelia. Egg romelia. But barberries. Yeah. Barberries? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. A little denser. Again, all these are low on salt, right? Just aged. That's white wine. Just white wine? Mm-hmm. Mmm. Do it straight up like, like I'm drinking the wine. These two are the best, in my opinion. There will be this one. But they're all really good. They're different flavors. Texture is very similar. Obviously a little dense, right? And obviously this is, you know, the most famous cheese of Georgia, right? Saguni, which is Suguni. I can never get it right. Suguni. Mm-hmm. This one is smoked, it has barberries and bacon. The best one. Mmm. A little fatty, super dense. Love the smokiness to it. Mmm, good textures. Wow. It reminds me of we have in a in Latin American cultures, we have like bread like this, where they have like, you know, raisins, ham, very similar. But obviously this one's cheese. Oh dude. This is a bus. Mm. Mm. Wow, it's good. These are smoked cheese strings over here, and that is a whole head of uh, sulguni over there. So this black cheese that's aged is made from this wine, so I'll try the wine. Oh man, cheers. That's super refreshing. Mm. Young wine. Super good. Yeah, so good. Especially with the heat outside right now. Smoking. So this is smoked string cheese. Mm-hmm. I'll take more of that. Mm-hmm. That's good. I love smokiness in cheese. Usually smoked cheese is very dry, but we try to keep the juiciness inside. Yeah, it's a little moist, right? Yeah. Not too dry. Mmm. I'm taking a big pack of that home. All right. That is just awesome. Mm, let's try this. Mm. Oh, it's a good one. It's like, yeah, it's juicy. A lot of them are, are too dry, but this is like, it's nice and juicy. Because it's moist, not too dry, it's easy to chew through. And what else do we have? We make those in uh, half a kilo heads and also in a kilo. My lunch today is a cheese platter. Mmm. It's a little denser than I thought it was gonna be. A little harder, right? Mmm. Nice, no salt here, not smoked, just nice fresh cheese. No, so we have ricotta. Right. Oh god. Mmm. Oh man. Something is so simple and so good, like bread and butter. But it's amazing. And right here we have string cheese, but this one hasn't been smoked. An amazing lunch. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Mm. Taking this home. <laughs> Seriously, so good. Everything is so fresh. Next up we're doing ricotta cheese with some bread. So open the bread, get some ricotta right here. Nice, like crumbly, right? Oh, I love ricotta. This is what we call the Georgian sandwich, right? Yeah. Bread every day, cheese every day, wine as well. Cheers, my friends, cheers. Cheers, oh my Dios. Enjoy, let's enjoy this. Oh my Dios, cheers. Thank you guys so much, thank you for the opportunity. No problem. Mm, it's also a good palate cleanser between all these cheeses, right? Mm -hmm, absolutely. Mmm. Oh my gosh. So creamy, really cold, crumbly. Combines really well with the bread. And the bread. This is a Tony bread, right? Yeah. Well, Cajeti is not only just famous for its wine and for its cheese, it's also famous for its own bread, since it's, in my opinion, the best bread in Georgia. 
it is the best bread in Georgia. I've only been here for like seven days, but to be honest, it is the tastiest. It has the, you know, smoky flavor. If you guys don't know what Tony is, that is like a tandoor. And on the way over from Tbilisi to Tsignagi, you'll see like hundreds of women doing it along the road. More cheese. So what is this? This is with butter. Uh, it's a cheesecake. cheesecake. We call it cheesecake. This is cheesecake? Yeah, you should try it. I mean, it's like a cheese ball. You have what is inside there? What's that? Actually, red it doesn't thing? have any cheese in it, though. Oh, no cheese? <laughs> no, it's just butter and. Uh, <laughs> and what did you put on top? That's not coconut, right? <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, the center. Mm, so creamy. Outside, very flaky, and I'm guessing some jelly in here, right? Dude, what a cheesecake. No, no, enjoy it. En no, enjoy it all, enjoy it all. Mm. Oh, wow, super nice. Mm-hmm. Mm. What a decadent dessert. Wow. Tim, have you ever eaten this much cheese? <laughs> I don't think, I can't remember the last time I ate this much cheese. I've been to a lot of cheese factories. But you guys overdid it. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. This is absolutely amazing. The only thing I didn't try was the butter. So I just like get a little... It's good, but I'm not a huge fan of butter. Yeah, They're turning me into a ball. <laughs> <laughs> You're eating it all. <laughs> Thank you. Magloba. Maglobo. Magloba. The cheese is absolutely phenomenal. The wine flowing like water here. Mm more experience so when you come to Tel Aviv you have to come to this cheese factory we did the fortress we did the bazaar we did the cheese factory we saw how they make cheese and my man thank you so much you're welcome well guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up leave me a comment below subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Georgia let's go